Chris Hall, South Dakota Game Fishing Parks and the 20 Minute Angler. Behind me I've got uh, Laframboy Island and Hippo Lake right inside Pier. Uh, last summer's high water levels on Lake Oahe and really the unprecedented water releases out of the Oahe Dam really did a number on, on the prey species on Lake Oahe for fishing which is the rainbow smelt. Um, walleyes, smallmouth bass, northerns, all those big predator fish key, key mainly on, on rainbow smelt uh, to eat and last summer's releases really did a number on, on the uh, smelt population in Lake Oahe. So Game Fishing Parks biologists, fisheries biologists sat down, uh, tried to come up with some interesting ideas to help those fish along. One of their ideas was to catch gizzard shad, which is the main prey species here on Lake Sharp, before they spawn, catch them, take them up to Lake Oahe, put them in there, hopefully they spawn and add a little bit more forage for those main predator fish. The problem is, how do you catch a gizzard shad? Gizzard shad don't really bite on lures. Um, the way they came up with it is to electrofish, and that's right, I said electricity and water. Usually don't mix, but in this case we have a couple of electrofishing boats uh, for a lot of survey work we do. Came up with the idea that we're going to electrofish these areas, Hippo Lake, uh, Lake, um, Hippo Lake and Farm Island State Rec area. Try to catch some of these pre-spawn gizzard shad, take them up to Lake Oahe, put them in some of the back bays, hopefully they spawn, giving those uh, predator fish a little more prey pray to eat for the summer. I'm going to show you how that works, going to show you some cool GoPro stuff that we did and uh, just kind of let you in on what's going on. So stay Adams Game Fishing Parks, what's your title again? Fisheries Program Administrator. What uh, What are we doing today with this weird looking boat? You know? uh, this is an electro fishing boat. We've been out electro fishing for gizzard shad. We're trying to take gizzard shad out of Lake Sharp, adult gizzard shad, and move them up to Lake Oahe. Uh, we're putting them in the backs of a few bays where we think that they may spawn and provide some forage for the walleye population and other sport fish in Lake Hawaii. And in particular water temperatures or places that we're looking for, Gina, what are we looking for? Yeah, uh, we started uh, about a week and a half ago and the water temperatures were in the low 40s. At, by the end of the day when the sun's been up the whole day and heating the water up, we might be able to find 48 to 50 degree water. That's where we're really finding the shad is when it gets up into the 48 to 50 degree range. So it should only get better the next few weeks. We're targeting uh, behind the islands here in Pier, uh, Laframboy Island and Farm Island are the are some of the spots where we've notoriously found adult gizzard shad. Yep, we're electro fishing and we're not killing any fish. It just stuns the fish and they sit on the surface for a few minutes and and then they uh, recover and swim off after you've gone by so it just stuns them long enough that we can net them and we're not taking any game fish or anything right now. The water temperature is the biggest key. They'll spawn over uh, just about anything, mud, uh, sand, they just disperse their eggs out into the water column. Uh, behind these islands the water warms up much quicker than out in the main river channel so they congregate here in some of these back bays and marinas before the, the water warms up out in the out in the main river channel. The moral of the story is electricity and water do sometimes mix. Um, there are a lot of safety measures up there when you're when you're fishing. You got to have a lot of rubber uh, boots and gloves and float coats and all kinds of interesting stuff. But uh, if you do see you're in the pier area and you see this interesting boat with these uh, big wings and, and uh, fingers hanging down into the water, that's what's going on. GFP Fisheries crews doing a little surveying, capturing some gizzard shad and moving them up to Lake Oahe for the walleyes. I love fishing.